Hello, I am Sunny Kim. And I am Skylar Nicholas. Last year, many of our former BFS seniors graduated into prestigious schools. Every single one of them have worked very hard throughout their years at BFS. And we would like to acknowledge each for their dedication. We are so excited to see what the future holds for them all. Thanks for the great example that you set for us younger students through the year. Another member of BFS that we would like to appreciate is a new addition to our school. Our kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Dickinson. My favorite part about teaching at BFS is the international community. It's nice to be around kids that are from all over Europe, all over Asia, and we kind of blend together and just show that, you know, everybody has something in common and that we're all here just to learn and have fun together. And that's what I really love about BFS. My favorite motto has got to be the power of yet. It's all about the growth mindset and especially with elementary kids you come upon a lot of challenges and they get really frustrated and I always tell them you don't have it yet or you don't know yet because you're not going to start off a marathon you're going to start off a mile at a time and same with my kids or when volunteers come into the classroom and they're thinking, oh, it's a little funny. These kids can't add, you know, two and one. But they have to remember they were there once too. And so it's always the power of yet. Because if you keep working at it, you're going to get it. Why did you want to become a teacher? Because there's so many jobs that you do for money. But I'm doing this for experience and to, like, contribute to doing something good in life. I feel like every single day I can come home and think that I have made the world hopefully a little bit better today. And if I didn't today, I get another chance to do it again tomorrow. But at the end of my life, I'm going to be able to look back and say that I did something productive and made an impact in the world. Do you have a favorite memory as a teacher in BFS? Oh gosh, you know, last week we got to fly kites. My students built kites, they decorated kites, and then we went outside and they flew kites. And it's got to be my favorite memory so far because they were so happy out there just running around and seeing how the kite, you know, lifted in the air. And all the kids were having a great time. That was my favorite memory so far. The thing that I want people to know about BFS and my experience here is the students and the families are serious about learning and being part of the school. Thanks to Mrs. Dickinson for an inspiring interview. The K-5 students are fortunate enough to have Mrs. Dickinson as their teacher. We enjoy visiting their classroom this school year. One of the fun activities that Mrs. Dickinson put together was the K-5 author celebration. The students had the opportunity to present their writings with illustrations to their teachers, parents, and peers, showing their growth in writing throughout the year. This year, a new future at BFS is the morning meeting. Elementary students have one every day, and middle and high school students have one every week during advisory. This year at BFS, we decided to change the new advisory system, so when students walk up these stairs, they will feel more happy and relaxed here at BFS. What do you like about advisory? I like advisory because it really brings the entire community together. Unlike any school I've ever been in, it helps teachers and students become friends. Well, I love morning meetings, mostly because I get to say hello to my teachers and friends. Selfishly, I have to say that I have gotten to know a bunch of 10th graders that I wouldn't know. Um, I teach about half of them. So personally, I like advisory because I got to meet a bunch of new students at the school. And of course, I'll probably see them next year in classes, but I really didn't know who they were this year. Um, the other thing is I think BFS students think they know everybody because our school is small. And truthfully, they don't. At the beginning of the year, we asked some of the 10th graders in our 10th grade advisory if they knew everyone in the room. And they didn't know everybody in the room. So I think it's a great opportunity for students to uh, meet new friends and classmates, even if they're not best friends, they know each other and they could be friends for life because it's a small world. I now know more about my friends because of the morning meeting. Well this year the main difference is morning meeting and so all the advisors are getting together, they're going through a greeting, um, they're sharing out as a group 
and that's really cool and it's something that will be habit forming and build community in our advisories. So, um, what do I think about advisory? Well, advisory is in the middle of the week, so obviously a lot of people, like especially high schoolers, they're caught up with all these work they need to do over midnight, so they'll be really tired. But in the morning, I think advisory kind of keeps them awake and alive. Very clearly, it can be seen that BFS has gotten stronger as one united community. In order to support this community, BFS recently had a Spirit Tea competition where many different teachers and students submitted creative designs for the school's Spirit Tea. Though there were many great creative designs submitted, we are proud to announce that the winner is David Park from 8th grade. Please congratulate him for his achievement. In addition to this, our school community has bonded over many athletic events. Students from elementary to high school have been participating in a variety of sports. Please enjoy this segment on our sports teams and their development so far. What do you think about the amount of people playing sports compared to last year? Well, uh, last year we had uh, the most participation, the highest level of participation school-wide that I believe the school has had in a number of years. Uh, this year we're even higher. In what ways has the team improved from the beginning of the season? Um, um, well, we started doing three hits and we were getting better at bumps and we were doing fake hits too and also we got better at um, spikes and stuff. How do you think the team played at the Daegu tournament? I think they played very well. I did not expect us to win like any games, so I was surprised that we won two games. Do you think our school is improving competitively? Uh, yes, I do. I think that uh, the, the sports teams here at BFS are competitive on all levels at the elementary school, the middle school, and the high school. We won three championships last year. In what ways has the team improved from the beginning of the season? So, um, our team improved, first of all, in going for the ball, as our coach, Mr. Lee says, and we also um, improved in our volleyball skills individually, like everyone improved. When I'm trying to like, create enthusiasm, I like shout a bit louder and then do like all the cheers and stuff. So it actually lightens the mood. The participation of many students encouraged the school sports spirit and teamwork. We would especially like to acknowledge the girls high school volleyball team. After overcoming fierce competition, they won the SCAC Volleyball Championship. Other than the high school girls' volleyball victory, there were other positive events this quarter. Although we couldn't include them all, we were able to interview several students from elementary, middle, and high school about what was their favorite memory in BFS. My favorite part of this year is playing baseball with my friends. My favorite part of this year was the cross country tournament because like people were all excited. My favorite memory of this year has to be the soccer tournament. Uh, I guess uh, my favorite memory of this school year would probably be uh, AP World Class. My favorite moment so far through VFS is studying with my friends. This was when I met um, new people. Uh, that was because I like to meet new people and uh, and helping them out. Far till now is going on the middle school retreat. It was a very great experience, going and fishing in Namhae, and it's a great way to end my middle school life as an eighth grader. Another great memory from this year was when the kindergarten and second grade students flew kites that they made by hand. Please enjoy this footage created by the digital media creation class. Thank you for watching the first BFS Shark Tank of the year. See you next time.